Now we come to example 6. In the figure, D is a point of AB on AB. Prove that triangle ABC is similar to triangle CBD. And note that triangle ABC is not given an isosceles triangle. Not given. Yeah. Although it looks very much like an isosceles triangle. But this is not a given condition. And now we have to prove this big triangle ABC is similar to this smaller one CBD. And since there is not even an angle or given angle in the figure, only some given size, therefore most probably we have to make use of the proportional size to prove they are similar triangles. And suppose we draw another blue triangle on top of CDB and then remove it away and see if the size of this blue triangle is proportional to this bigger one. And therefore we have 20 to 45 and 30 to 30 and it seems that the ratio are not appropriate. Therefore we have to somehow rotate or flip this triangle. And suppose we flip this blue triangle into this one, just like a mirror image of the original one. Then we can move this second blue triangle and rotate it. And we can now actually see that the size are in direct proportion, 30 to 45 and 20 to 30. The ratio is exactly 1.5. And now I can write down the vertex. This is B, C, D, and after flipping, this is B, and then this is D, and this will be angle C. And it happens that this angle B is a common angle between the two triangles. Therefore, we have the ratio of two sides are equal, and the included angle is also equal. And now we can conclude that they are similar triangles. Therefore, we can write down in part A in triangle ABC, triangle CPD. We have to find the ratio of the size first. We have AB over BC, which is 45, over 30, which is 3 over 2. And BC over BD. We have 30 over 20. Again, the ratio is also 3 over 2. And lastly, angle B equals to angle B. This is a common angle. Therefore, they are similar triangle. And the reason is ratio of two sides. Included angle.